I've been looking at it for many, many months and I'm still finding new things in there. The detail is incredible. <laughs> Taken many, many, many hundreds, if not thousands of man hours to create it. Um, there's lots of humor in there. So there's things to make you pause for thought. There's uh, things that'll make you laugh out loud. There's things that might worry you a little bit. Kids love it, old people love it, everybody seems to love it, so it's obviously something for everyone. Uh, because of the Mirtha Rising, which obviously happened on this very spot um, in 1831, I understand, so very important historical spots all over the, the UK where there's been not just riots but upheavals and social disobedience and obviously the Rising was a, a very important example of that. So we thought it was very important that we came here. It shows a riot-torn landscape, but it could have been a riot, it could have been any kind of civil disobedience and the police have crushed it uh, and all the, all the civilians have gone now. So there's only police left. So there's thousands of policemen in there, but no civilians apart from uh, the Home Secretary who's delivering a press conference, but he's saying nothing. And there's the uh, Duchess of Cambridge who's awaiting evacuation but we don't know where she's going to. Uh, so apart from that, there's no civilians, just thousands of policemen. Jimmy first became famous uh, with the KLF band uh, that uh, had a few big dance tunes and a few years ago he started doing Riot and Jam Jars, um, which were very funny little scenes, funny or disturbing little scenes in tight little jam jars of little figures this big. Um, and then this, then it kind of grew from that and then um, ended up being a riot in a container. 